Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay, please turn on your cameras, everybody with the camera on. Thank you. You may start the class. You may start speaking if you want. Hello, hello. Come on, guys. Can you hear me? We can talk whatever. Whatever you want. <laughs> it's your time to speak. Okay, people. Can you tell me what are your opinion about tomorrow? The start the uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if you go to the download application, the app, Shiba. That's a nice icebreaker. Is he talking about Bitcoin? I cannot okay. listen very well, teacher. This It's raining really, really hard at my hand and I cannot listen really, really well. We hear you. Uh, I, I think that tomorrow the servers will be down because a lot of people uh, will try to, to download that application. So I I am waiting for, I, I will wait, in, I'm going to wait, to wait, my man. I'm going to wait uh, maybe uh, two or three days after that because I think it's better. <laughs> I don't know, people. I, I've been reading some articles about the Bitcoin and said that Bitcoin, I don't know, that it's allowed. It doesn't have a, a restriction, restriction about uh, how you say, watch the money. <laughs> Restrictions. Yeah. Doesn't have restriction about the steal of money about the big capital international. I don't know, you understand. Okay, that was five minutes. Okay, in reality, uh, yeah, let's talk about Bitcoin. Come on, the Chivo wallet. Are you going to download the thirty dollars? I mean, the app. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid to to try something new. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm acceptable. I'm, I'm acceptable mm. too as Fernando, but I, I will do as Fernando. Just wait a few days to see others fail and then laugh and then download it. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. No, nah, but yeah, I want to see other people, how they do. I want to see how, how it goes with other people. And then I may download the app. I don't know. Let's see. I know someone who has become since five years ago. She lived in La Libertad. He has a business at El Tunco Beach. So he must do it. And he continue the same way. No rich. No. He's not rich. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I guess that is not yours because it's, uh, just, Bitcoin will back. it's just a wallet. I mean, with money on it. Uh, it's not investing on Bitcoin. That's different. That's a whole different thing, right? Okay. There is a lot on the insert type teacher in the population. There's a lot and of incertainty. Incertainty, yeah. And uh, I had a lot of fear the of the robbers. Come on, you're afraid of the scammers. 
Yes. Yeah, in that it's context, in that context, the robbers, the thieves are called scammers. Yes. Yeah, a scammer is a thief, a virtual thief. Okay, and there are many ways to scam people. That's a verb. There's There are many ways to scam people. Yes. Actually, this is very common in the United States. I work with prepaid cards and believe me, every day they steal money from people. Okay, okay. Let's get started. So let me do the attendance really quick so we can move on with the class. Uh, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Okay, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Perfect. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Elvin is not here. Fatima Ifigenia Lopez Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Where is Isela? I don't know. I guess that, do you know that she now is a team manager mm -hmm. and sometimes she moves change her schedule. Sometimes she has a meeting before the, the chief. Uh, something that she told me last week, but she told me that she will be able to connect to this week, but I don't know what happening. I will Hopefully. take her. Please, because Thank she's you. missing two. She, you can only miss three classes, guys. That's a problem. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Good. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Yet, okay. Good. Let's get this started. So today, what's in today's lesson? Hey, really, um, we still continue talking about um, product testing, how to test your product. And honestly, it's very important. Let's continue talking about the Chivo Wallet. That's a new product. It's a new product. Do you think they tested the product before launching? Yep. They should do it. They should have done it. They should do they it. Should have done. What do you think? Give me your opinion. I want to hear you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the tomorrow when the day is considered the siguiente day, the following days. The following days, the upcoming uh, days. Mm -hmm. Will be the, the real the real the real test for that application. Or because the 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 how many user uh, million uh, and how, how many thousand of people uh, is going to use so are going to are going to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're going to use the app right so yeah totally that, that would be the real test <laughs> yeah um, I don't think they actually tested I heard. I heard mm. some people at a gas station two days ago. I was buying something there at the gas station at night. Oh, that was Friday, actually, after your class. I went to the gas station and I heard some guys talking, hey, I got the job. Really? So you're in the call center? You will be helping people with the app? And he was like, yeah. So what are they going to do if there's no money on their account? 
oh, they have to call us and da, 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 da. they were talking a lot about how there will be a support line, which is good. I mean, this is weird, but if you launch a product and you didn't have time to test it, you know, definitely is going to fail at some point. As, as Fernando is saying, some people will have problems using the app. And I bet you, I bet you, because this happens in the United States, this happens a lot. Some people go calling the car company, hey, where's my money? You have to wait, right? And the same will happen with these people. They will go like, I only see zeros here. I only see a lot of zeros and a number 15 at the end. Oh, that, 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 those are Bitcoins. I don't want Bitcoins. I want $30, right? So, wow. Poor guys at the call center, they're going to go crazy. It's going to be really but crazy. I realized that... I realized that even when the product is is proved or test, um, definitely always you are going to find some issues about it because yeah. in, in the real life you don't know about the the user how they handle the product. Actually, that's why you conduct the focus groups, right, Sandra? Sandra can tell us about. It. You need to run the focus groups, test the product before you launch it. I mean, there's a whole process you need to follow with any product. I'm just saying something about the Chihuahua wallet because it's a nice topic. It's coming tomorrow, so let's see how it goes, okay? So other than the Chihuahua wallet, have you ever, as an opening question as usual, I'm sorry, Jose, um, I'm going to mute you for a minute, okay? If you need to talk, open your microphone, please. Together today Thank you. And use to lower uncertainty about who we're dealing with. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, so have you ever conducted a focus group? I want you to think about it. Then give me your answer yet. Have you ever conducted a focus group? We all know what is a focus group at this point, right? a group of people that you have chosen to test your product. So have you ever conducted a focus group? No. No, never. Not even at home. Not yeah. even at home? <laughs> Let me give you an idea. Have you ever cook, cooked something that you thought Man, I'm gonna. I'm going to combine cheese with the meat. I'm going to combine cheese with the rice, and and told my tell my family, hey, try this, try this. What did they say? How did you feel? Did you ask them? Did you like it? Okay. Do you want the recipe? Have you ever been there? No. ¿Alguna vez han cocinado a su familia para ver si les gusta su comida? That's so common. No? All weekend. What? Last weekend, Miguel. All weekend. In my every, case. every weekend. Every yeah. weekend, really? Yeah. Every day, teacher. <laughs> every day, right? So there is yeah. your, that's your focus group, your family. Okay. Yeah. How do they react? Do they like your food? In my case, yes, my, like. my, my food is delicious. <laughs> Your food is delicious. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? Because you see their faces? <laughs> it's delicious. Oh, <laughs> God, thank you. <laughs> they love you, Miguel. <laughs> yes, I think that, that they, uh, they like my food. <laughs> How do you know? Have you ever asked <laughs> them Okay, was it too spicy? Do you think it's missing some salt? I don't no. know. No? no, you never no. asked them? Okay. Perfect. Have they My. ever tell you, man, this is delicious? Yeah, my, 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 for example, my song, uh, 
uh, is happy with my food. It's of course. Taco. How, how do you say tacos? Tacos? Tacos. Yeah, yeah. tacos. Yes. Tortas. I, I tacos is, is common on <laughs> Saturday. I like it. Yeah, oh, man, that's awesome. That's really good. Yeah. I used to do that. I used to do that when I have uh, a Saturday morning off, you know, I cook for them or Sunday mornings. I just cook whatever is on the kitchen. I cook whatever there is, uh, pancakes or I invent, I make up foods and kids love it, of course. But Ada, do you think your family loves your food? Yes, teacher. <laughs> have you have you asked them if they like the food? Yes. Okay. Okay. So it's the same thing, guys. That's your focus group. So you have conducted a focus group if you have ever cooked for some of your family. Now, in real life, you conduct a survey. You make questions, you make a questionnaire. So why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? Why is it important for the questions to be good? Someone? In order to know, in order to know if the product works, as, in, as intended. Okay. Does it work? What question will you make to find out if it works? What What's your product, Alexander? Um, <laughs> I forgot. Um, medical Sunday. Medical Sunday. Yeah, Medical Sunday. Medical Sunday? Yeah. It's very important, teacher, for the polling fires. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's and dangerous for the people. Wait, what's the name of the product? I'm lost. I'm sorry. For a product medical, for example. Medical product? Okay. Medical so, pro, medi medication, um, drugs. Of course. Drugs. Yes, yes. Test, testing those medicines is very important. Very do you, important. Do you think they test the products directly with people? Mm, no, at the end. With at the end, they, they may do it. They may do it at the end, right? Before they launch the new vaccines, the new medication to the market. They do test it with humans, of course, but it has to be approved, approved before by the F FDA, I think. FDA? FDA. Yep, the <laughs> FDA. Okay. So, um, but the questions, the questions must be good. Or can you just say, hey, you, did you like the product? Okay, thank you. Uh, I think I think uh, uh, you have to to read a read a, read a, sorry, read a, read a good question because you have uh, you don't have much time and the the, consum the consumers too. So you have to to redact that question for get information for getting information, mm -hmm. right information in in few time. If, the, the, the question uh, must, uh, must be ob objective. Ob Good, the, the questions boost the, uh, the objective, okay. You hear that guys? Boost, boost, boost. Okay, true. But so you have to be very specific with the questions. Uh, for example, Fernando, if you're making an app, in the way you're doing it, um, what will be the main question, something that will be very important for you to, to know about your market? And what's your market, by the way? Mm. Have you thought about it? Uh, yes, uh, my market is it's a specific market, I think. Uh, 
the most important uh, is uh, user experience, how the, the consumer feels using my app, my application and what, what the consumer thinks about uh, where, don't they, what's this, where are the options, uh, the animations. How, how, is it user-friendly? Yes. User-friendly, yes. yes. That, that is a good question, for example. Then if how, I will start with something like, are you good with your apps? Are you good with your cell phone? Um, in a scale, in a scale from one to ten, how how computer smart are you? How computer smart are you? How technology savvy are you? Listen to these questions. How technology savvy are you? How much do you know about technology? Mm -hmm. Right, because a main problem in the United States is with old people. They don't know how to use their cell phones. It's not a meme. It's not a meme. It's real life. It happens a lot. They don't know how to download a PDF document from an email like that. And they are rich. They have money. But when it comes to download a document, uh, I don't know how to do that. I'm not good with computers. And they're talking about their cell phone. Okay. So <laughs> it happens, believe me. Okay. So let's go and ask these questions, answer these questions. Remember, acuérdense que están acá para tener una conversación. Okay. Inventate las respuestas. Si ya sabes que es un focus group. Okay. Imagínate que tú eres el que va a conducir ese focus group. Okay. Hace más preguntas. Okay. ¿Cómo te fue? ¿Cuántas personas sabían? Ok, ¿a dónde fue? Ahora, why do you think it is important to design good questions? Ok, how were the questions? Ok, en algún momento has contestado una, un cuestionario de, de calidad de producto en, en tu vida. Estoy seguro que en algún momento, en algún supermercado te han detenido y te han rogado que en un formulario para saber cuántas satisfechos estás, ¿verdad? O en tu empresa y no se diga. ¿Ya? Y si no lo, ha hecho, no, han, no lo han hecho en tu empresa, ojo, ¿eh? eso es muy importante. Saber cómo está tu cliente. Okay. Claro, si ya se petatizó, murió, pues ni modo. Pero sí, eh, es importante saber cómo le fue con el servicio que se le brindó y todo. Okay. So, let's talk about these two questions. And please give an answer to your classmates. Okay. Make a conversation. Let's do it. What page? What page? I'm about to send you the questions actually, but I can't find your group. There it is. This is page 24. 24. <sighs> Just the first two questions, don't worry. Okay. Uh, have you ever conducted a focus group, René? Um, yes, um, the focus uh, um, sport. <laughs> you, have, you have conducted a, a, a team, a sport team about... Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, what, what sport? A sport, badminton. Uh, badminton. Uh, training, uh, training, uh, the training badminton. Uh, mm. Yeah. You have, uh, I have, I have focused with uh, 
the ten, ten pictures mm -hmm. and Lead manage, uh -huh, lead. Ah, uh, 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 performance, uh, the high performance. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember what kind of questions or some question that you you did for your group? What, what do you remember? Do you remember uh, some question or that you did to your group? Unas preguntas que le has hecho. Ah, que yo le he hecho. Sí. Ah, yeah. And the question uh, this moment, moment in, in you 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 play uh, the practice for badminton uh, you uh, how how athletes uh, how no how how athlete, athlete uh, in your group the high performance mm -hmm. and and organization the program training in two hours in, in your group, the training. Mm -hmm. uh, it's difficult to conduct your focus group. Yes. And the words can be in, no? In my work, and I am a, uh, um training the the for employees it's a focus group it's an indication the the for cirurgies for the the, the step for cirurgies it's a focus group it's not and, and uh, more experience Hello. In my case, I agree. I'm a, a, a scientific. I know. <laughs> no puede <laughs> serlo. <laughs> it's very, it's very a good experience for the invent the medicine. <laughs> De veras que ya no se va a oír bien, está cayendo un buen tormentón. And, and what, what do you think, what, what is the most important, the direct question or, or get information about the group? Hear me? It's raining. <laughs> Speak louder and try to articulate more, Johnny. Speak louder. Try to articulate more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and what? First, which one do you prefer? Uh, another. How often will you will you buy the drinks? Um, uh, what else? Uh, another question from one to ten. What the score will you give the product? And, and another. Is the product only woman? Only for women? Um, okay, only for women. Yes, even with women. Women. Mm -hmm. Even uh, because uh, it was, um, how do you say? 
at the university um even we... sorry unisex unisex is for both sexes for both ah yes is um at the university we sold we sold the the juice and the most likely uh i heard of them. both both them uh it was um oh, I, don't, I don't remember the word exito a success success it was, it was a success yes for both women and men no uh yeah but the they use the most uh consumers it was where it was where where it were women women okay <laughs> very good yeah. bless you Juan. what happened to you you were not here so many days were you sick sorry yeah <laughs> very sick still oh my god as you can see as you can see right now uh, thank you for being here thank you okay i hope you get better soon okay so we are using the first two questions right if you have ever conducted a focus group sandra i think you have okay. you have conducted a focus group okay so do you think that the questions are important why are the questions important how many people came to the focus group Oh, Carol has conducted a focus group too? Yes. Oh, okay, at the university. How, what was your test? I mean, your sample. What was your sample? How many people did you have on the sample? Uh, or... 40, 40 girls. 40 girls. Yes, uh, we, uh, we uh, with my Let's may we give to gave. A, a sample. We gave about, samples, uh huh, or yeah, a sample. Mm -hmm. a sample. Um, and and at the same time, at the same time, we ask about we ask about uh, what do you think about the flavors? Which flavors do you prefer? Uh, which score do you give the this product? Um, how often do you buy do you buy them? Do you buy uh, similar products? How often uh, do you yeah. buy similar products? About uh -huh. about uh, the questions, open questions, cross questions about um, scores. The uh, what else? Uh, about the competence, but disimuladamente, um, how do you say? Discretionally. Uh, uh, sorry? Discretionally. Discretionally. Mm -hmm. um, and even we made the survey because it, it, it was a part of the activity. Okay. Carolina, what was the outcome of the focus group? Or what reaction did you get from the customer or client? Can you repeat it, please? Uh, what reaction did you get from the client or customer? Uh, the majority of girls, uh, they like the they like the product, the juice and. Um, and after activity, we they ask about the juice. Ah, oh, hey, well, uh, when when you sell sell 
When uh, okay, sell. when will it be when will when will when it be will available sell? for sale? When will it be available for when sale? Will, when will be avail available for sale? Good. Go. When will it be available for sale? Sorry, question mark. Good job. Okay, we're about to do that actually. We're about to create our own questionnaire. Okay. Let me take us back. Let's go. Okay. Hi, good evening. Welcome, Rina. Thank you, Is it raining? Yeah. Yeah, it just started. It just started raining here too. A second. Give me a minute. Okay. So that was just a discussion to, to know if you have ever run a focus group and about the questions, do you think they're important when you run a focus group? Of course they are important, very important. And you forgot all of the groups, you forgot to mention something very important. It is supposed that you are uh, selecting a sample of the population that will consume your product, right? So you need the name, eh, maybe not, but you need the age, right? So one of the main points is to gather data to compile, to compile the data and understand. So I interviewed 40 people, okay, what were their ages? How old were they? Okay, number two, mm, how likely is it for them to try this product? Okay, and so on. Questions that will give you general a general idea. Okay, are you understanding me? No, yes, kind of, yeah. Ok, um, cuando creas este tipo de formularios, ya sea por, hey, por Google Forms hoy en día, en mis tiempos a, a mano, y era bien difícil porque yo trabajé tabulando datos con mi tío que se iba a meter hasta Zacatecoluca, se iba a meter hasta Zacatecoluca a hacer esas cosas, y lo cerraba siempre con un cuestionario. Pues le daba el formulario a la gente, y la gente apenas y podía escribir. A mí me toca estar tradu traduciendo jeroglíficos y tabulando jeroglíficos porque a veces no sabía incluso si era un 1 o un 7, o sea, y así, es bien complejo. Pero son preguntas generales. ¿Qué edad tiene? ¿Cuáles son sus niveles de ingresos? En, de una manera así burda, ¿no? Un número cualquiera. Uh, mensualmente. Uh, ¿Cuántos son sus gastos mensualmente? Y cosas así bien generalizada, ¿no? ¿Por qué te sirve esto? Porque vas a, a crear estratos sociales dentro de la tabulación de las encuestas que vas a hacer, ¿no? Te va a dar una idea de dónde viene esta persona, ¿ya? Sin que el, el que está en, siendo encuestado se dé cuenta. ¿Sí me explico? Eso, eso es, es ser una encuesta muy inteligente. Y luego ya entras de lleno al producto. Que me llegó, ahí estaban hablando muy bien, ok que le parece el, el producto. Ahora, ¿quieres tener una mejor idea del mercado en el que te estás metiendo? Hacer preguntas, ¿ok? En comparación a otros productos, ¿con qué otros productos nos ha comparado o ha comparado ese producto que se le ha venido a su mente? ¿Ok? Mientras que se prueba ese producto, ¿se acordó de algo otro similar? ¿Ha visto algo similar en el mercado? ¿Ok? Etcétera. Proving questions. Proving questions. You got it. Okay, some questions may be open-ended questions, some others may be closed-ended questions, but it's your job to do the best possible questions. So, uh, se supone que vamos a crear un cuestionario ahorita. Me gustaría mejor empezar por the lecture. 
a lectura que tienen en su um, página 24, page 24. Ok. And it's an excerpt about tips to design focus groups questions. Focus group questions. So let's read it together. Vamos a mantener los grupos con los que empezamos este día. Vamos a ir trabajando con los mismos grupos. Traten desde ya de, de ubicarse en un producto. Así como hicimos en la clase del viernes. Think about a product. Don't let it go. Hay solo un producto en el grupo. Ok. Agárrense de él. Hagan lo suyo desde ya. Y empecemos a trabajar en, en, en alrededor del entorno a él. Ok. So let's read this excerpt. If you have noticed, there's an excerpt on page 24 in orange. Ok. Introductions, fun starter question or activity, icebreakers. Okay, this is an icebreaker. Format, what's the format for your questionnaire or your focus group? Um, rating scales. Okay, you have many options. A specificity, a specific, <laughs> I hate this word. Specificity, specificity, being, being very specific, right? Okay, and closing. So understand these five, six concepts, understand these six concepts, each one by one on the group. And then, and then we're gonna work creating the questions, okay? Here you have what you have to do, group work. You need to design a 10 to 12 questions questionnaire to find out how the participants of a focus group perceive the product you've suggested in unit one and so on. You even have examples, you have sample questions. Okay. How satisfied are you with the product, etc. So number one, let's do this together. We come back and we give our ideas about each part, okay? And then we go back and we do this, got it? Good? Got it. Okay, right. let, let's talk. Hello. Hello. Uh, read the following excerpt. Excerpt. How do you pronounce? Pronounce. Excerpt. 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 You got it. Excerpt. You can have your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Introductions. Begin session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better, sample their favorite hobbies, and interest, but they enjoy focus groups, etc. Fun starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the graphs. Great. Creativity flowing. Creativity flowing. Ah. For example, ask them to think of, of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Format. When choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide structure and direction of an open-ended open question to allow the further exploration and discovery. Rating scale, setting an, an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Specificity. Specificity. 
then think their first answer was not good. Use that as correspondence to provide some specific samples of what they liked or did not like about the, the item in question. Just then the participants and the participants for their management, if their editing could be done to improve their experience as a member of the public group. So follow, follow this structure, we are going to make a questionnaire right now. Uh, no. Not right now, right now let's talk about each topic. What is an introduction then? Uh, begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members oh. to get to know. It's not enable, it's an enable in this case. Enable. Uh -huh. And enable focus group members to get what? To know. Know each other better. Example given. Their favorite habit as interest, what they enjoy focus group, etc. Um, okay, what is this group? This is an example given. Their mm -hmm. favorite habit interest. Oh, so it, how would you do that? How would you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why they enjoy focus groups? I will say why they enjoy focus groups, etc. What do they enjoy about focus groups, etc. Not what they enjoy. Okay. Uh -huh. So how would you do that? What idea comes to your mind? Imagine that you are managing the focus group, right? So this is like an icebreaker dynamic. Yeah. Okay. This is the uh, like you you formulate <laughs> your <laughs> sorry is a thunder a strong thunder and it's like the the way you are going to formulate the the plan of the questionnaire first. Mm, now. Come out with. No. It's an introduction. You are already, okay, you have 100 people, okay? Five groups of 20, five focus groups of 20. How are you going to conduct the first part, the introduction? Are you going to talk for 20 minutes? Are you going to have them introduce themselves to get to know each other? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. What yeah. kind of dynamic comes to your mind? What do you think? Um, to raise the eyes and, and if you have family, if you have a pet, if you have any hobby. Mm -hmm. Very good, that's the way. How will you give them the questions? to ask between each other. What I will do is just make a little uh, sticker, you know, and put it on their chairs, put the <laughs> yeah. sticker on their chairs with the questions. And they have to ask these questions to three or five members in the group. Just go and, hey, what's your name? Okay, what do you do? What's your profession? Okay, you have family? Okay, and so on, so on, so on, okay? This activity, Actually, Siman is is applying this activity when they when they do uh, training assessment. Uh, uh -huh. assessment. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you see, uh, this is an, a perfect icebreaker. Not only uh, porque, a ver, cuando haces esto, si sos inteligente, sacas información de. Después los haces que elegís un par al azar. Mire, cómo le fue y le preguntó fulano cuánto ganaba. Sí, y le contestó no. Y ahí empezás a sacar informes, porque somos así, ¿verdad? Y empezás con una introducción diferente. No queremos que la gente sepa de nosotros, somos egoístas, pues ese producto. Y ya, y empezás, tergiversas las cosas y, te, y a tu favor. Ok, so así quiero que piensen. Ok, 
fun starter question or activity. Seguís entreteniendo al público, okay? And so on. Keep reading, you will find it's very interesting. Okay. Direction, occupation, occupation, familiation. Hey, wait, wait. <coughs> what are you doing? Direction. In direction. In direction. direction. No, necessarily yeah. the address. 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 The instruction of the questionnaire completed the question with the important information. Introduction. And yeah, word. Y sexo, ¿cómo se Así sex. Sex. <laughs> Occupation. Really? It, 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 yeah. You say gender. Gender. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. So, um, let's see. Ya leyeron el excerpt? No? Okay. Está bien interesante. Eh? Introductions. Okay. Si han ido o entrenado una capacitación donde hay muchas personas, alguna vez tuvieron la oportunidad de hacerlo, qué triste, me acabo de sentir, pensé que mis hijos quizás ni van a vivir eso. Pero bueno, vas a una capacitación y si es bastante personas las que hay y, um, y no es un entrenamiento común con un call center, por ejemplo, vas a tener al, al hostess, al, al que dirige todo, ¿no? Va a empezar, por ejemplo, ahí da el ejemplo, the favorite hobbies and interests, etc. Si tenés un, un focus group, o sea, si tenés cinco focus groups en una sola mañana, eh, pues tenés, podrías tener cinco grupos de 20 cada uno, ¿no? 100 personas. Una bonita actividad es hacer los que se conozcan entre sí, so, give them questions. ¿Cómo lo harías? Y eso es lo que ustedes tienen que vislumbrar. ¿Cómo llevarían a cabo la introduction? Ah, ojo, yo, yo sé, ningún día, si Dios quiere que seas entrenadora, ve qué chivo. Y tenés un grupo I de 20. Want to be a trainer. Ah, you don't know. Imagínate, <risa> tenés un grupo de 20 personas que dices que se conozcan entre sí. Ok. Yo lo que haría es ponerles un post-it debajo de la silla con cinco preguntas incómodas. Incómodas, entre comillas, como how much is, do you make a month? ¿Cuánto dinero haces al mes? Okay. De hecho, esto ya lo hice. Y, ajá, uh -huh. what's your name? Do you have family? How old are you? Okay. Uh, how much money do you make a month? Y así. Porque un entrenador astuto o un capacitador astuto, la información la saca sin que la gente se dé cuenta. Entonces, y después de hacer esto en introduction, okay, la gente se llega a conocer, okay, detenés la actividad. Cuando estén lo mejor es cuando detenés la actividad. Y empezás a preguntarle, ok, fulanita, ¿a quién entrevistó? Who did you interview? Ok, um, uh, tengo a Rogelio, tenía que entrevistar a cinco personas. A ver, entrevisté a Rogelio, ajá. ¿Y cuánto gana Rogelio el mes? No me quiso decir. Ajá, y alguien de su grupo le dijo cuánto ganaba. Nadie quiso decir. Ah, ok, ¿y por qué será? Y entonces empezás a ahondar en el tema de la charla, de, del, del focus group, y va, lo vas orientando hacia el producto. ¿Sí me explico? And that's acting smart. Eso es actuar inteligentemente. Ok, toda la información que, que se comparte, que se genera dentro del focus group. Thank you, Adit. Lo vas a ocupar para tu beneficio. So, así quiero que se enfoquen ahorita. Ok, ya está la introduction. ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Cómo lo vas a hacer? Ok, fun starter question or activity. Ahí te empieza a dar ideas. ¿Qué más puedes hacer con el focus group? Porque el punto de un focus group también que la gente no se te duerma. O sea, qué que aburrido llegar a un focus group y solo llegar a llenar el formulario, poner el volado y esto. No, it's not about that. Okay, so think about it. I'll let you continue. Okay, my favorite team. ¿Cómo vamos con el excerpt? Uh, we were thinking about the product and uh, the in base, the structure of focus group. 
okay? Uh, remember, this session is about the questionnaire itself. So if you take a look, if you take a look at the uh, excerpt, um, give me one second. Okay, si ustedes se fijan, okay, aquí le va dando una idea de cómo llevar a cabo el focus group. Ustedes tienen que imaginar que ustedes son los hostes, los anfitriones de ese focus group. Y, y pues una meta con la que, un reto con el que te enfrentas como, como anfitrión de un focus group es mantener entretenido al público. Pero si sos como yo, eso es lo más fácil. Porque, a ver, mira la primera parte. Introductions. Y aquí te doy una idea. Example given. Their favorite hobbies, hobbies, hobbies and interests. Ok, una vez hice un grupo focal en el que para que se cumpliera ese objetivo de que se conocieran entre sí, les puse post-its debajo de las sillas, ¿ya? Con cinco preguntas incómodas. Dentro de ellas, claro, su nombre, su profesión. Y una de las preguntas incómodas era, ¿qué edad tienes? ¿Y cuánto dinero ganas al mes? Ok. ¿Y sabes qué pasó? Nadie quiso contestar esa pregunta. Y la capacitación estaba orientada a la confianza de terceros. O sea, ¿qué tanta confianza le tenés a otra persona? Y las políticas internas de la empresa no las podías compartir. Entonces, me aproveché de esa información y la oriente hacia el tema central de la capa. Entonces, fue bien interesante. ¿no? Entonces, la primera parte de un focus group es Introductions. ¿Qué vas a hacer tú para que para romper el, el hielo? Es la primera etapa, ¿no? The introduction. Luego puedes seguir rompiendo el hielo. Fun starter, question or activity. Puedes llevar a cabo una actividad grupal ya dentro del focus group. Un reto que hasta risa te puede dar. No sé si ya les han en alguna capacitación les han dicho que se tomen de las manos con los brazos cruzados, ya y hacen un círculo. No puedes soltar al compañero y tenés que girar a manera de quedar viendo hacia afuera. Y todos agarrados con la, las manos así hacia afuera, ¿no? No pueden estar ya con las manos así, no te puedes soltar. Pues hay una manera de, de hacerlo. Entonces, ese es un tipo de actividad, una dinámica grupal, ¿ya? El punto es mantener el grupo focal entretenido. Ya lo que sigue, el format, el rating scales, specificity y el closing ya van dirigidos a orientar, um, van dirigidos específicamente a los tipos de preguntas que vas a realizar dentro de la encuesta. Entonces ahorita solo estamos leyendo esto, nos quedan cinco minutos para entender qué es lo que vamos a hacer en el questionnaire, qué es lo que sigue en la clase, ¿ok? ¿Bien? Está bien entretenido, los, los animo que, a que lean detenidamente esto, en los cinco minutos que nos quedan y fácil, ¿eh? lo ponemos en práctica. ¿Bien? Okay, keep going. Okay. Hey, good job. Ustedes sí están trabajando en lo que le dije. A ver. ¿Qué han pensado hacer dentro de introductions? Dentro de introductions. Si tuviesen un grupo de 100 personas, cinco grupos de 20. Um, what do you do in your free time? Uh-huh. Oh, good. Okay. Uh-huh. And the next question, where do you live? How do you live? Uh -huh. How old are you? How old are you? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Next, do you like lollipops? <laughs> do you like lollipops? Very good. And how often do you drink alcohol? Hey, pero espérame, espérame. Ya te fuiste a preguntas del producto y ahorita estás en introductions. Yeah. A ver, ajá, fíjate que yo hice algo en un, en un grupo focal que tenía en Construmarket, un grupo bastante grande y eran vendedores. Y a los vendedores no les vas a dar una charla. Mucho menos una charla motivacional si en su trabajo lo hacen. No, tenías que, tenías que ser muy así. Y al mismo tiempo necesitaba información de ellos para saber en qué tipo de, de, de mercado me estaba moviendo, qué tipo de, gru de grupo tenía en ese momento. Porque había caras de gente joven, caras de gente vieja, alguna que otra mujer por ahí vendiendo um, tipo de construcción, imagínate. Entonces, 
para hacer esto divertido y había preparado el auditorio y había pegado post-its con cinco preguntas. Dos de ellas comunes. How old are you? ¿Verdad? Ok. Y, um, y la otra era Are you married? ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Pero las otras tres preguntas eran incómodas. How much money do you make a month? ¿Cuánto dinero ganas al mes? Se le... La gente se quedaba con esa pregunta y yo por qué voy a preguntar, yo no voy a contestar eso. ¿verdad? Y la temática era sobre eh, el recelo por las políticas internas de la empresa y, y, no, y no dar a conocer secretos de la compañía. Entonces de ahí me agarré. Ya después cuando ya terminaron la dinámica, ¿ok? Y solo para que aprendas un poquito, pero cuando haces ese tipo de actividades, las tenés que cortar cuando están en lo más candente, que todo el mundo se está riendo y todo. Ok, ok, that's it. muy bien, ya estamos listos, sigamos. Y la gente se queda, ah, ahí tenés que cortar, porque es cuando ya la gente ya se soltó. Ya, entonces llegás y seguís con la sesión y ahora empezás a sacar información al público. Ok, Juanito, usted le preguntó a Susana, ¿verdad? Ok, usted está en su grupo, ¿a quién le preguntó? Ok. Le contestó la pregunta del salario y le decía No, ticha. ¿A alguien le contestaron la pregunta del salario? Levántame la mano alguno. Nadie, hermano. Es que somos unos grandes desconfiados. Y empecé con... Ya, entonces toda la información que tú sacas, incluso desde la introduction, te va a servir más adelante. Mira lo que sigue. Fun starter question or, act or activity. Ahí ya puedes hacer una dinámica, otra dinámica de grupo, ya de trabajo en equipo para reforzar la situación y luego empezás con lo demás ya el format, rating scale specificity ya va con encuesta directamente lo que estaban hablando y el closing, ¿qué es el closing? ¿quién lo leyó? it's just saying goodbye uh -huh. eh, or recommendation teacher no or recommending uh -huh. Uh -huh. good Very good. Okay, so you got the idea of the whole ex, the whole excerpt. You got the idea already? Yes. Okay, porque lo que sigue es hacer el cuestionario, okay? And that's the next step, okay. Let's go back then, and then we're going to work on setting up your own questionnaire. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ok, let me do the attendance one more time, ok? A Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Thank you. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Thank you. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. She was around. I think I saw her. Yeah, there she is. Okay, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Elvin is not here. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present. Miriam Carolina Monzo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. En Rina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Ok, a ver chicos, los quiero animar. ¿eh? Yo sé que a veces algunos temas parecen aburridos, tediosos, 
pero encuéntrenle el gusto a esto, traté de animarlos en cada grupo a que, a que entendieran un poco de qué se trata de esto, yo he trabajado de esto y por eso me gusta, pero yo sé, tal vez si no has tenido la experiencia no, no te das cuenta, pero hay que, hay que trabajar siempre de una manera smart, ok, de una manera inteligente, darle el sabor a las cosas, al final, créemelo o no, un día te puede servir esto, ok, so, who can tell me about the introductions? Did you think about a way to do the, the introduction? For me, introduction is the, the phase when the, you are going to introduce the people and about how it's interest and you are going to get information about it. And, and also you are going to um, create a good vibe. That's the point where you get to create a good vibe between the people, right? Yeah, it's like the first time you are with strangers and go like, right? It's weird. Okay, very good. Icebreakers, icebreakers, very good. Okay, that's very important, the introductions. Uh, you know, one thing I do in classes or I used to do when I was in live classes, the first day with a new group. Okay, introduce yourself, William. Oh, my name is William Alexander. Wait, I need you to tell me the name of a state in the United States, okay? Or the city, if you want, okay? So start again. Okay, my name is William Alexander like like Wyoming okay William like Wyoming Alexander Ramirez Flores and then Juan continues okay my name is Juan Marcos Marcos like Mexico okay okay and William like Wyoming okay my name is Fernando Ernesto like Scotia okay Scotland I'm sorry Scotland okay and Juan is um, like I forgot already El punto es que el último tenía que decir todos los ciudad y estados. Man, that was crazy. So, the same thing. Those are icebreakers. Okay, very good. For people to get to know each other. Fun starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the group's creativity flowing. Example. Ask them to think of three words to describe their, their favorite hobby. That's a good idea. Any other idea of a dynamic? Maybe you can do a competition with, with uh, letters. For example, you have to, to write uh, three words with the letter A, for example and that the team that uh, write more uh, words mm -hmm. win. Good. That's a teamwork activity, yes. Totally, any other? Come or on. Build a um, tower, tower. Build a tower, how? A tower using paper. <laughs> Only I media. was thinking, I was thinking about <laughs> that. Okay, um, in a, that's a group activity too. Um, Una capacitación que tuve, cabal, de trabajo en equipo. Me dieron un rollo de papel, eh, cartulina, cartulina, y un diccionario océano de este vuelo cada uno. Tenías que lograr que la torre que hiciera soportar el peso de la, del diccionario océano. Ok. Algunos crearon cubos, otros crearon, lo pusieron así redondo y ¡pum! todo, eh. A nosotros se nos ocurrió hacer un triángulo, ponerlo en triángulo, el, 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 el papel cartulina. Y aguantó. That was so, I mean, super, nos costó pensar en eso, ponerlo de acuerdo. And that's the point. Very good. So that's a dynamic, a group dynamic. Very good. Format. Who can read format? What was the format about? Mm -hmm. What was the format about? Mm. For me, it's when you, you when you choose a specific focus group, and 
when you know about interest and they make questions or to provide a product. Okay. What do you think, guys? Someone else? Maybe you you can do different format of, of service with different questions or you can you can give the, the different service to, to the people depends of the hobbies of interest interest for example. Okay. Very good. Now keep an eye on this. Include a mix of multiple choice questions. Multiple choice, A, B, C, D. Okay. Provide a structure and direction and open-ended questions. Let them speak. Okay. To allow for further exploration and discovery. So did you like our shampoo? Yes. In your own words, is it better than head and shoulders? Is it better than palm olive? Why? That's it, okay? Further exploration and discovery. Okay, we're better than head and shoulder. Wow. No, we are not better than head and shoulder, but we are better than Palmo Libre. Okay, why? Because head and shoulder is too strong and if you, tie, if you dye your hair, it's not good for you, etc. Okay, rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. This is simple, right? A scale from one to 10. In a scale from one to 10, did you like the logo of the product? In a scale from one to 10, being 10 the best and one the worst. Okay, be careful with that. Uh, 10 is the best, okay. Uh, did you like the smell of the, of the product? The envelope, etc. Specificity. Can somebody explain me a specificity? Mm, yeah, actually, this is a point to big open and question. It's simple to, to explain because uh, you are going to avoid to get, uh, for example, uh, how the uh, a little um, option about your product, or a little um, response about your product. You need to know more about it, and you are going to be able to get more about examples. Okay, yeah, this is like in some questionnaires. It says right if you if your answer was no, say why. Okay, the same thing. So avoid asking why, why, why every time. No, just make more specific questions. Provide more specific questions to get a specific samples. Okay, and that's a good way because uh, people will tell you, oh, for example, I didn't like your product because, for example, one time I tried some lollipops with alcohol and I didn't like it. <laughs> It was terrible. Okay, for example. And the closing, I just thank the participants for their help and ask if there any if there's anything, I know if wait and ask if anything could be done to improve their experience. You can remove that there from there and ask if anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Okay, I will recommend you, if possible, to give them a sample of the product or anything, you know, anything. Just give them anything that you can give. A soda, whatever, you know, just to make sure that the participants leave happy. Okay. So your last task, your task for today, you have to design a 10 to 12 question questionnaire to find out how participants of a focus group perceive the product you suggested on unit one. So, en grupo, vamos a crear ese cuestionario de 10 a 12 preguntas. Ojo, eh. Quiero que ustedes sean muy específicos. Esa es nuestra labor en esta unidad, en esta clase. 
es tratar de hacer eso. Introductions, ¿cómo lo vas a hacer? Busquen en Google, miren, hay tantas actividades. Y tú, tú dirás ahorita, ay, no, qué aburrido eso. Ey, si un día Dios quiere que te asciendan en el trabajo y te toca hablar del personal y crear grupos de capacitación para lo que sea, te pongo un ejemplo. Mi esposa hace poco le tocó eh, llevar el Ministerio de Trabajo para que, que le dieran una capacitación sobre seguridad laboral. No sé si ya les tocó a ustedes recibir, recibir la capa de seguridad laboral y meterse en una cuadrilla de, de primeros auxilios y todo eso, ¿no? Sí. Pues resulta que el tipo que iba a llegar de, la, de los bomberos se tuvo una demora por el tráfico, no sé. ¿Y qué hacía ella en una hora? ¿Iba a llegar una hora tarde? Pues me llamó y dije, mira, hacete dinámicas grupales, ¿qué más vas a hacer? Crea, fortalecer a tus empleados, solo son 50, fortalecer a tus empleados. Intenta hacer dinámicas con ellos que, que aseguran el trabajo en equipo. Ay, dame ideas, ya le mandé un documento. Y se puso a trabajar con ellos, pues ya después vino contando nombres, no, la gente ya no quería que tuviéramos la capacitación que siguiera un mejor ahí. Y si te toca hacia ti un día, o sea, te estoy dando un ejemplo que te pueda ocurrir. So, ok, let's be very happy with this, let's do it together, ok, in groups again. Did I send you this? No, I'll send you this right now so you can keep it handy. And let's work in groups on your 10 to 12 questionnaire based on your product, ok? Ok. Let's do it. Claudia, hello Claudia, let's go. En Excelito, vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacerlo por, hagámoslo por partes. Gracias, introducción. Teacher. Hey. Do you know yes, where, you, where, is, where is going to start the next, next module? Next module. We actually finish this module on the 23rd, September 23rd. So. Give it a month, give it a, give it a, give it a week, give it a week maybe, a week or two. Because I received an, an email about it. Oh, really? But we, we need more information. Yeah, they, will, they will send it, they will send okay. it to you. Sí, yo, yo le llamé porque como me cambié de empresa, quería cambiar de empresa, me dijo, no, no te preocupes, llámame en dos semanas y me cae a caer la onda de esto. <laughs> O sea, yo tengo problemas porque si no logro, no me voy a escribir entonces. Si no, no logro salir con la esposa. Ya le escribí. Yo, a, yo, ya yo le te llamé hace dos semanas casi. No, le tengo que llamar. A con Jimmy sí. estoy hablando. Con Jimmy estoy hablando ah, de estas dos semanas. Sí, te voy a ayudar. Don't worry. Solo mantenerte recordándole, Fernando, para que él no esté, esté pendiente. Sí, mañana le voy a hablar porque hoy, hoy hace un ratito, creo, hoy en la tarde me cayó a las cinco y media, me cayó el correo. Mañana le voy a llamar por teléfono. No le llamé porque yo dije ya no voy a estar ahí. Sí, yo creo que están trabajando más acelerados por lo del 15 de septiembre, pero give it a try. Uh, allow me just a minute, guys. I have to stand up, okay? Just a minute. Okay. Mm, veamos introduction questions. Mm, pues, pues saquemos, lo podemos hacer por, por, si son seis, podemos sacar, bueno, es que en realidad esta parte, pero es específico. Yes, the, the, the step that we give to the, to the focus group, uh, a survey or a specific questions. Answer. Mm -hmm. 
Yo lo dije también que Para la traducción son fáciles porque le pregunta. Maybe we can start. Eh, every member of the focus group uh, have to to ask to the to the right people. I don't know, y así que vaya corriendo, pues que cada quien se vaya preguntando cómo se llama y, y a qué se dedica. No sé. Sí, 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 no pasó uh -huh. esa imagen, pero no me pasó eh, nada. ¿Cómo se llama? La medida. La medida. ¿Cómo sería pedir? As. Ask. Pero como te estoy diciendo, request. Sí, sí, pedir. Claro. No sé cómo decirle, vaya, por favor. Eh, no, bueno, va bien. Eh, que se presenten y que luego le pregunten a la persona de la derecha. En el caso que hasta terminar la cadena, pues, y que cada quien se conozca los nombres, al menos. Son 20 personas, por ejemplo. Me llamo tan, tengo tanta de edad y soy, me dedico a esto. Porque solo para. Ya después podemos preguntarle, no sé. ¿Dónde lo va a llevar el caso? WhatsApp. We are thinking. What is the better way to, to introduce a focus group? <laughs> What's the product? Uh, uh, avocado ice cream. <laughs> lollipop avocado. I know it. I know it. I know it. Avocado lollipop. Lollipop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Talk about your childhood. Uh, bad habits. Talk about your childhood bad habits. Include questions like, when you were a kid, what was the craziest combination of food that you made? When you were. When you were a kid. Ah, es cierto. Una pregunta antes que todo. What was the craziest eh, eh, el que lleva combination el of food eh, ¿cuál es el that you ever made? For example, my kids, ugh, my God, I don't know how they do that. My kids like to, to eh, mix, to mix, um, uh, how do you call this? Igual. Pastry, pastry with, with, with fresco, you know, with sweet Delicious. beverages. Come <laughs> on, moment. you don't do that. that. <laughs> what about semita with Coca-Cola? I mean, what? No, you don't do that. Or <laughs> the worst, the worst, pan dulce con ketchup. I'm like, what? Uh, uh, why? Uh, they did it. Uh, I was like, why are you doing that? that? You don't do uh, that. No, don't do that. So, why? Why this question? Because the, uh, the avocado uh, is a rare, a rare combination with a lollipop. Yeah, it's a rare combination, right? And lollipops come to your mind when you were a kid, right? Trying different lollipops, but never heard of a combination of avocado. So, y le estás dando, estás abriendo la puerta a la imaginación a la gente. Como que ya cuando les haces el producto, va a ser como, bueno, si cuando estaba pequeño, hacía convenciones, no me morí. Why? Right. Let's do it. Right. That's crazy. Hey, this is good. Okay. Keep going. First question. Now, is. Okay. If you can uh, 
can share the screenshot. We'll what's, see now. what's your product? We are talking about Big Deep app. The Big Map? No, Big Deep application. <laughs> the Deep application. What is that? Big Deep. I Big know that you cannot hear me deliver. pretty well because my yes, Big this deep, is yeah. a delivery service. Deliver. Oh, service. the delivery service. service. Yes. Beep 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 beep. The beep beep. <laughs> the beep beep delivery service. The beep beep app. But wait, let me say it. The beep beep app. Beep beep app. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so your focus group. How are you going to start it? ¿Cómo vas a hacer que la gente se conozca? How are you going to make everybody get to know each other? Mm. Be creative. Be creative. Okay. Uh, for example, we can start uh, presenting ourselves by uh, tell us uh, like a funny presentation. How old are you? Are you divorced? Are you married? Are you, how do you say you look? Widow, right? Widow. Widow. Mm -hmm. Widow. <laughs> okay, no, I got it. Did you watch the movie? No. Really? It's, it's good. Do you have Disney Plus for the girl, for the baby girl? Yes. So? And also Netflix, but I, I can't watch the B. Oh. In my well. case, it was a uh, web page, uh, <laughs> Pirata. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, what is the name? Repellis 24. <laughs> I have. Uh... It's, it's good. In this page, uh, there are uh, Netflix and Disney. <laughs> All old, kinds of movies. Old. Yeah. Yeah, I have uh, PV Info. PV yeah. Info. It's working. It works well. A veces yeah. se traba, a veces muchos anuncios, pero. Ah. <laughs> when something is not there, for example, uh, Free Guy. I want to. I want to watch Free Guy. Free Guy, yeah. In Repelis Twenty First. I see. <laughs> I'll, I'll look for that application. Yeah. So the problem is to watch it on the TV with the family. Uh, you have to do, work some magic on the computer. Okay. So, uh, bip bip delivery. One of the questions. One of the questions that I will include on the um, on the starting session, on the starting questions, is to, to make people remember the Looney Tunes, remember the Warner Brothers cartoons, right? Hey, what was your favorite cartoon when you were a kid, right? Did you yeah. like, did you like Bugs Bunny and little by little the Coyote, right? The Road Runner, because the name of the bird is the Road Runner. Did you we know? We are doing a, a yes no question, a yes no question questionnaire. So in this case, how can I we do these questions? Just uh, we can include open question, even we have just no question. Yeah. Okay, it can be me. Mm -hmm. You know what, Justin? I will okay. ask. I will ask them. Can you make? Can you mimic any Looney Tune? Can you mimic any any Looney Tune? So this is somebody uh, yeah, that will do them. <laughs> right? For example, right? And people will end up smiling and thinking about the cartoons and their childhood, and then boom, the brand. That's okay. a good idea. Okay, keep it up. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. What's your product? Uh, natural juice with alcohol. Natural juice with alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any natural fruit? Yes. How are you going to make the participants get to know each other? Uh, Introductions. Um, first, uh, questions about um, funny questions about hey, if if I pay for for prepare mix 
I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know how will, I will start if you want to talk about alcohol. Uh, and I only have adults, of course, on the focus groups. I will have them talking about beverages. What's the best alcoholic beverage that you ever tried? Man, I tried many things, right? The Kalua and Johnny Walker and Chivas. Okay, good. Uh, what about this? This. And then another question, what are your favorite beverages in El Salvador? Most common beverages that you love to try. Horchata, tamarindo, carao, what do you like? Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, can you imagine combining these two? Okay, Johnny Walker with, with carao, oh my God. In milk, mm -hmm. huh? maybe, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's too much, mm. okay. And then people start wondering, right? Uh, sounds weird. Uh, quizá que incluiría la pregunta que le hice a otros dos, a un grupo, dos grupos anteriores. Les decía por su producto, ¿no? Empezar con una pregunta de, ¿te acuerdas cuando estabas pequeño y te gustaba hacer combinaciones de comidas raras? Por ejemplo, mis hijos comían el pan dulce, les decía, con cualquier fresco. Y el extremo fue una vez que Christopher el mayor estaba como de tres años y agarró la ketchup y le echó el pan dulce y ¡am! Y... No, 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 fresco o soda, incluso yo, why, yo nunca he hecho eso, porque quién les enseñó a hacer eso, right? no son mis hijos, les debería agregar, ¿no? Ajá, entonces ya creaste esa noción en la cabeza del, del, del participante y se queda, de verdad que estaba loco y no me morí de comer esas cosas, ¿verdad? Y ahí le salí vos con una paleta, right, con una, ¿qué, qué era? No, con un, un refresco natural con el col Okay. You open the door. Alguien propuso la pregunta si te pagaran por probar una bebida nueva, alcohol o harina, parece. Ah. Yeah, that's okay, pero después van a querer que les pagues. Ah. <laughs> that's the problem. Like, <laughs> where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> right, okay. Sí, y ahorita estás en el nivel de que se conozcan. Okay. Good, and then you continue. Luego hacemos una dinámica, ok. Quizá una dinámica de bartender. Llevar copitas de, copita de plástico. A ver quién puede hacer una torre como copitas de plástico. Ok, o en, en, en grupo. Uno tiene la mano así y a ver cuántas copas le pueden poner en pirámide. A ver quién aguanta más. Ok. That's... Estoy loco, eh. <risa> Es que me encanta. Me encanta jugar. No te imaginas cómo me encanta Estamos. jugar con las personas y crear, crear esos ambientes. Es que es súper divertido. Y ahí estarlos viendo desde el pollo. O sea, es como, o sea, cómo juega la gente y la, la gente y los adultos. Entonces se vuelven niños en esos momentos. No sé si han, si han partido alguna capa. Sí. Es increíble. So, ya. Yeah. Ok. Keep going. I'll let you go. Ok. Eh. Bravo. Bravo. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite hobby? What are you what do you do in your free time? How well are you? We oui. would you like to taste new things? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was Alan's idea, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> you were invited to a party. How do you know? Do you prefer alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages? Do you prefer alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages? Okay, how often do you drink alcohol? Uh, what are you doing? The lollipop with alcohol? Yes. Umbrella lollipops? Umbrella apostrophe S lollipops? Mm -hmm. 
Where do you buy the umbrella? It's lollipops. Uh, remember that you're conducting a focus group based on a prototype of your product. So you like umbrellas? <laughs> um, so yeah. No podrías preguntarle si le gusta o no las um, um, uh, lollipops con alcohol. Le sugería la misma pregunta que le sugería a otros dos grupos. Solo para darles una idea, pero ya no la podrían incluir ahorita. En las introductions, tenés que generar un ambiente de buenas vibras y todo. ¿verdad? Pero orientarlo a tu producto. Entonces, si tu producto es una combinación extravagante de dos productos, el alcohol y la paleta en este caso, una pregunta sería, eh, cuando tú estabas pequeño, ¿recuerdas alguna mezcla extrema de comida que hayas hecho? Como crayones con arroz, o no sé, lodo, pastelitos de lodo. Ay, Carla, no sé si se acuerda. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Right. Ok. Ya le abriste la mente al niño interior y ya se clavó. Y ahí cuando le presentes la lollipop con el color, acá. no, hombre, si sí, probé lodo, que no vamos a probar eso. ¿Eh? Right. <laughs> ves, ves por ahí, vale. Idea. Entonces ya la gente se va a conocer y. Ya puedes entrevistar un ah. par de la audiencia. Y, ay, ¿Quién entrevistó? Ay, yo entrevisté a René. ¿Y qué dijo que René que había probado? Que una vez un hermano le dio una gomita de, de, de lombrices, pero no eran de gomita. De no. Y él se la comió y después de dos días le dijeron que no eran gomitas. Yeah. Y sí, sí, ¿cómo saben? Ok. Esas cosas pasan en esos focus groups por experiencia, se los digo. Es súper divertido. ¿Ok? You got the okay. idea. Ok. And the dynamic. A group dynamic. What would you do mm. for a group dynamic? Teamwork. ¿Cuántas posiciones se puede de las que hacen los policías cuando lo detienen a uno por andar colizado? ¿Cuántas pueden hacer? A ver, ¿quién pudo hacer más posiciones? Le das una, un, una cartilla con las posiciones que te podría poner a hacer policía. La L, el 4, ¿cómo es? Nunca he estado borracho ni mente. Eh... Todavía, ¿no? A ver, un experto por aquí. Ajá. Hola. Hola, William. <laughs> What's the alphabet? Caminar en línea recta. Ajá. Hey, uh -huh. Tell the alphabet. Oh, yeah. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. My God. In English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a funny activity. A ver cuántas en grupos. Si son grupos de cinco, imagínate. Cada uno tiene que hacer una, una forma. <laughs> Una prueba de alcohol test. Okay. Okay, keep going, guys. I'm not here, okay? Continue, continue. Okay. Okay. Dynamic. Mm. Group dynamo. 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 Um, I'm, I'm number eight, number nine, no. Huh? Number eight and number nine. Because the the pole is prototype. Mm. Um, doesn't exist yet. The, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the the final movie. <laughs> the final Good. Combine them, them, them. Cierto, cierto, son dos. 
Would you like it? Would you try mejor? Would you try it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 25.3 centímetros. Guay, va. Estamos el primer guay ahí. Y ni, ni se lo van a esperar. No, no, ese iba. <laughs> mm. I know the children why or you can... Oh, en anterior mejor. No. Uh, Así está más abierta la anterior. No, pero es que no, no tiene nada no, que ver. No. Tiene que sí, 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 no. ¿Y, y por qué? Por eso. Si, ah, if your answer is not, ¿sabes que yo soy tell me why. O sea, o sea, ayer me dijo Carlos. Explain le why. Not. Perdón. Aquí es if, pero mira que esta dislexia de inglés parte de la española que tengo. Ajá. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué otras? A ah, de opción múltiple. Mm, ah, como que ya empecemos en la escala de 1 al 10. No sé. No, eso no es opción múltiple. La opción múltiple es como. No, que... no, ya sé, ya sé, pero, pero es, que, es que vamos. Quiero ver. Tenemos, nos falta todavía como un poco de, de entrar por acá. Sí, es que eso está que después se ha aprobado. Sabes que yo hice otra vez. ¿Con el, qué te gustaría combinar el, este el sabor del aguacate? Y me salió mucho mejor que lo, de lo que habían hecho ellos. Multiple no choice. No sí, o sea, ajá, chili, le podemos poner ajá, chili, acá, salt, mm. pepper, ¿Cómo? lemon, tomato. Would you like to <laughs> tomato? Sí, yo lo Would you like to combine it with and options? In options, you can sell it no. more than one. Sí, yo solito hice otra vez. That, that is correct. You can sell it more than one. Wait, aquí le pongo. Uy, uy. W I. Sí, sí. Wait. Wait, yo aquí le pongo chili. Significa chili. Sí va. Chili. Lemon. ¿Con qué? Onion. Cheese. Onion. Oh my god. <laughs> what else good avocado good with? Cheese. Eggs. <laughs> cheese. Oh, cheese is there already. Okay. Oh my god. Como que me, como que de guacamole. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Meat. Chorizo. Meat. <laughs> Sausage. Sal. Sausage. Sausage. Sal, así. Sausage. 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 Ah, ah, sausage. With one A, right? Sausage. Sausage. Yeah, sausage. And that includes, that includes chorizo. Ah, okay. I mean, yeah. Salchicha, chorizo, longaniza, all that is sausage. Dice, pruébelas. En la Michoacana de verdad existe. No, ahí hay una de, de razón. Eh. Ajá, no llevan estos ingredientes, pero no, son, como, son, dulces, como, son como dulces, son más dulces que saladas, dice. Dice okay. ya. Okay. Oh, I, may, I may try it. Las proberas de yogurt, las de yogurt con frutas. Sí, sí, no. Artesanales de yogurt con frutas estaban buenas. Oh my God, it's time to move on. I think you're almost ready. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay.
Sorry. <ríe> si nunca han tenido un Hotchkey, no lo tengan. Salvo que estén dispuestos a aguantar un arranque de locura. Les agarra de correr por toda la casa sin importar lo que se pasen <ríe> llevando o a quién se pasen llevando. Really? What is that, Juan? Este es un Hotchkey. No, un perrito. Can see. <ríe> sí, pero es más tranquilo. Ah, sí, yo no sé por qué. Están locos de los Hoskies, pero igual son súper cariñosos y todo. Ok. So, I want to hear each group. So, in this case, I just want, I'm going to go part by part. So, I want to hear the craziest part of your survey. Ok. Or the part that you liked, the part that you liked the most when you prepare this. Ok. On the first group, I had Alexander, Fernando, Miriam, and Rina. So what was your favorite idea as a group? I think that our favorite idea was uh, the fun study activity. Uh, we, we think that, come on. We thought. We, uh, we thought uh, about to uh, to sell uh, to 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 make a uh, uh, dynamic about uh, combined ingredients, uh, rare ingredients, and uh, the 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 group had to to sell like uh, uh, five, for example, they create a a, a dish with rare ingredients that the, the, the ingredients don't combine, but they have to combine for create a, a dish in put a name <laughs> of, of that dish. Okay. That was crazy. Hey, you didn't say, uh, then your dish will be qualified by, yeah, that's, that's, that's by that's other, that's I know, I know. By qualified, you say great. Your dish will be graded. Okay. Uh huh. Great, graded. Very good. Will be graded. Mm -hmm. There you go. Graded by another group. Oh, or by other groups. Yeah, perfect. Yes, plural. Thank you. Excellent. Hey, that's a good idea. And that's a dynamic, a group dynamic to for to create teamwork. Okay. Love it. Very good. Someone else on the group wants to add anything? No. Oh. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Ada, Yoni, Miguel, and Jocelyn. But what's your favorite part of the questionnaire creation? Well, our favorite part with the team was the uh, fun activity at the beginning. Uh, we will start making like an app. Uh, supposedly, we are uh, four people a doctor, a developer, and an engineer. So I am the training and I will start talking about his uh, hobbies and we'll start making some fun questions. Like for example, do you have a crush? How many girlfriends do you have? <laughs> and I, what is your favorite be uh, beverage? I hear that is golden, but, but that is be just because we're a girls. And then we will start asking, tell me three words that describe yourself. For example, I am friendly, I am hardworking, I am open my person. And they will start about his opinions. And later we will start talking about the questionnaire. There's no question. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Anybody else in the group who wants to add something? Johnny, Miguel, Jocelyn? I mean, Johnny, Ada, Miguel? Yeah, well, in my case, it was funny when Jocelyn asked, asked a funny question. <laughs> I really felt, really felt good uh, because, because she was very friendly and with the group and got used all they have an opinion. For example, in my case, uh, I, I say, one question and, and other say question. The conversation is very funny, but it's, it's, it's good. That's the idea. That's the whole idea. Just to keep yeah. talking with your group and everything. And that will help you, of course. 
sustaining a conversation, which is the whole point of having a class, right? We have to speak. Great job. Very good. Okay, let's see. In the next group, I have Carolina, Claudia, Juan, Roberto, and Sandra. Two, four, six, no, five in a group. Okay. What was the funniest part of creating this survey, this um, questionnaire, or your favorite part? Yeah, um, I think uh, the favorite part is to create uh, a funny activity. For example, we are talking about um, natural, natural drink with alcohol, okay? And we are thinking to talk, to ask, so, um, what what flavor would you like to, to prefer to mix? Uh, for example, the people say uh, watermelon. Okay, and, and say the people, okay, we have watermelon here. We are uh, three different drinks uh, of alcohol. <laughs> We want to you you make watermelon with uh, alcohol drink and after the drink. We think that is interesting and maybe funny to the people. Okay, create your own beverage with your own flavor that they prefer. <laughs> right. Okay. Anybody else from the group? Thank you, Juan. Yeah. Yes. As as Juan said, um, the dynamic or what what flavors uh, would you like to combine? And for example, the participants mentions um, watermelon. Uh, well, as a group, we. We give the fruits, the um, the natural juice, and and they the participants can can mix uh can mix the the juice with alcohol, uh, dynamic something uh, something like that, or or questions and at the same time questions uh, with. Uh, when you are with your friends, how much, how much, yes, how much are you natural use? Are you willing to drink? Or what, what which um, combination do you, do you prefer? Something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. What was the craziest, the craziest beverage that you thought about, Carol? Or someone in the group? Sandra? Uh, uh, Juan Manuel and Mix. That, that sounds good, actually. Juan Manuel's Mix. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try it. Oh. <laughs> okay. That sounds like Coco with, with, with Tic Tac or something like that. <laughs> uh, for example, I have a a kind of that product in my house. Really? A mix. Uh, let me see. Say something. <laughs> Say something, Juan. Show it. Show it. Yeah. Oh, that's lemon with. Okay. It's, it's, it's lemon with um, tamarindo. Tamarindo. Ooh, and alcohol. Yeah. Uh, no, this is this is for mix. <laughs> You can oh. put in your on your drink. Beer. In your drink in your glass. Mm -hmm. Wow. For example, uh, we we can we can have more products about this and other flavors. Like this. Very good. Definitely. I mean there's people doing this already in um in Occident, in Candelaria de la Frontera and all that sector. They're doing things with tamarindo. 
you have no idea. Really strong. They're really strong. Okay, guys. Uh, well, we're missing three minutes. I'm going to leave the last group for tomorrow so you can give your opinion as well, guys. Alan, Jose, uh, Rene, and William. <clears throat> Sorry. And tonight I'm staying with Johnny Vladimir. <laughs> You're on the list, Johnny. It's your turn today. Can you stay 10 minutes, Johnny? Yeah. Good. Perfect. All right. Okay. So let's do the attendance one last time and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Edwin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Carla Yaneta Maya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Eh, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Averca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present teacher. Present. Eh, Good night, Enrina Marisabel Alvarez de Chavez. Present. Excellent. Good night. I'll Good see night. you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Good night. Good night. Let's see. I don't know what happened to Claudia, but she's falling asleep lately. Okay, Johnny, sorry. Thank you for staying again. <laughs> no sabía que te tocaba a ti, mira. Okay, so last session you practiced something, right? Yeah. What was it? You, I, I say about something. Me? Oh, yes, you talked about yourself, introduce yourself, it's true. Let's see, let's start and again with I, that. I hear me, <laughs> but some words. Sounds <laughs> worse, you mean? No te gustó. So, I, I can hear. I, I don't pronounce good the words. When I hear myself, I, I don't like it. Sabes que yo acabo de encontrar, no, no tengo esta compu, no porque te lo hubiera enseñado ahorita. Acabo de encontrar un, un video del 2007. Cumplí 25 años y hice una fiesta en mi casa cuando vivía solo. Invité a toda mi familia. Lo chistoso es que al principio del, del video, que por cierto estaba en VHS, o sea, lo envié el VH a que me lo convirtieran, imagínate. Mira, no te imaginas las ansias que he tenido por ver ese video y descubrí que ahí salía yo hablando en inglés, porque el video era para mi mamá, mi mamá está en Estados Unidos. Te estoy hablando del 2007, imagínate. Me acababa de soltar, sí. llevaba dos años soltándome hablando en inglés. Man, igual lo mismo me pasa. ¿Qué estoy diciendo, Ray? Why am I talking like that? Pero no, no estaba tan mal, la verdad. Quizá hubiese estado en un nivel intermedio. Yo nunca fui a clase, así de que nunca lo sabré. But, pero... but, but, but I don't know, but uh, when I am talking, when I hear myself, I, my voice, I hear so good. But when I hear it, I'm Lo hearing... que pasa, Johnny, es que tú tienes la, la autoestima alta y eso es buenísimo. Oí bien, eso es buenísimo. So, ¿Qué tenés que hacer entonces? Seguir practicando. Seguirte creyendo que puedes hablar inglés y lo vas a lograr. Porque sí, yo te sentí una mejoría. 
y me llega. Ok, lo escuchaste. So let, let's see. Did you practice? Did you practice yeah. the question? That, that tell me about yourself. It was simple. Tell me about yourself. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm a, I'm a person, a funny person. <laughs> I'd like to to talk a, a funny thing and share experience, <laughs> comic experience with friends. And the words I like to, to communicate with my workers and I, I, I don't know the, to be serious because um, the, the laboral I am, yeah, how you say ambient? Environment. <laughs> laboral environment uh, uh, had to be uh, good and you had to, to feel good with your workers because it's uh, it's uh, 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 you say it's uh, uh, technique it's like a technique for get the best of the other the others uh, workers if you want to company increase you have to it's a lot. <laughs> How you say explorer, explorer the others, uh, your workers. Um, I like so the sports pitch, the football sports. So I like to 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 play, and I am. Uh, uh, players the, the like to create some what is the jugada. I am the brain the oh, team. really I am the brain the team and who put the the pass of goal <laughs> okay hmm Good, okay, good. I like this. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm a funny person. Let's improve this a little bit, okay? I'm a funny person. I consider myself a funny person. I consider myself a funny person. I like to talk funny things and share comic experiences. Okay, a little nice. And create and share comic experiences with some friends or with my friends, I don't know. The words I like to communicate with my friends, I hear, I guess in me, I have been so long. Hmm. I like to use words, to use many words to communicate with my friends. Me gusta usar muchas palabras para comunicarme con mis amigos. Help me? Yeah. See? Okay. Yeah. Uh, funny words. Funny. Oh, I like to use funny words. So, como ya lo mencioné antes, I like to use those oh, yeah. those words to communicate with my friends. No, que quería hacer énfasis, está bien, pero ya no puedo repetir que funny words, oh. funny things. Okay. I like to use those words to communicate with my friends. I don't like to be serious because labor on environment, aquí me quedé pensando mucho. Mi entorno laboral. Yeah, my labor environment. Because, okay, I don't like to be serious. Despite. Sos contador, verdad? Yeah. Okay, despite my labor environment. <coughs> Sorry, despite my labor environment. You have to be good. Mm. Tienes que ser bueno en qué sentido? Uh, uh, 
Como Ajá, que que aquí, me, aquí me comí una, unas oraciones o una oración. You have to be good. Decía, estabas hablando de entender a las personas o de, o de hacerlas reír o, o de llevarte bien con los demás. Ah, como llevarme bien con los demás. Ok. To be easy going. Ok. You have to be good to be easy going. Tienes que ser bueno para ser llevadero. Tienes que ser bueno para ser llevadero. It's like a technique to get the best from the others. Yeah, that sounds good. Very good. Tienes que ser bueno para ser llevadero. Es como una técnica para uh, sacar lo mejor de los demás. That's good. You have to explore the others. You have to ex explore the others. A los otros. Ok. I like the football here. I, li I don't need the article. I like football. Uh, tampoco es necesario que diga que es un deporte. ¿vea? Ya se entiende. I like football. En nuestro caso sería soccer. No. Solo así. Ajá. Si, fuese, si estuviera hablando con un americano, diría I like soccer. Ok. I like football. I like to create the plays. Fíjate que sí, lo he escuchado así. Sí, I like to create the plays, the moves. Oh, okay. I'm the brain, the team. Aquí te faltaba la proposición. I'm the brain of the team. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good job. Bye. Okay, tenemos. Podemos seguir trabajando en esto. Vos dale, o sea, repetir, repetir, repetir. Y no solo con esta pregunta, o sea, agarrar otra pregunta que pueda ser muy común como what do you do every day y empezar a repetir, a practicar y a practicar. Va de camino al trabajo, pensar cómo puedo contestar esta pregunta, lo que te decía. Si de caso que estás enfrente de una audiencia y vas a hablar primero en español, ubicate en español primero, ¿qué le digo a esta gente? Me están preguntando qué hago todos los días, ¿ok? Y para no sonar aburrido, ¿qué podría decir? No inventar una, ¿ya? Y empezar a crear. Crea tu propio escenario, vos sos dueño de tu mente. Volvete dueño de tu mente, controlala. Me llega lo de la autoestima. Eh, Salvador Dalí, lean un poco a Salvador Dalí y su historia, porque era una persona tan egocéntrica, el hombre más narcisista del mundo. ¿Por qué era así? Y, y es bueno tomar un poco de Salvador Dalí, tener un poco de narcisismo uno, un poquito nada más, no mucho. Porque al final te tenés que querer vos mismo y entenderte a ti mismo antes que los demás, imagínate. Pero somos al revés los humanos. Queremos entender a los demás antes que a nosotros. Es un relajo. Eso no se puede. ¿Oíste? Good. Okay, Good night, Johnny. Take care. Good night, Thank you.